Hi, I'm Dude Dude, the Dude of Sports, the Duke of Entertainment. Sports fans, let's talk sports. So, I was looking at a WWE thing of what is the best wrestling matches ever. And something piqued my interest. The match at the Royal Rumble, Cactus Jack and Triple H. And Cactus Jack was not the original personality that McFoley was going to do. But the original personality that McFoley was going to do was <clears throat> Mankind. But Triple H gave him such a beating, such a beating that you have never seen before. That this is my idea of what WWE wanted to uh, portray out there. Uh, uh, that Mick Foley got the well, the guy Mankind, the character Mankind, got the biggest beating of his life, and then pretty much it brought out the person personality of Cactus Jack. I always thought that was cool. I was always. I was always thinking that that's a cool way to bring out some one of your characters. Because I don't think there's ever been a wrestler like McFoley. Two of the greatest personalities I've ever seen. And I'm not counting Duke. I'm not counting Duke. Dude Love. No. Dude Love is not really a character that I would say is the best character, but it's a character, I guess. It's a character that you're saying, oof, yay, I love this character. No, no. So, the match is Cactus Jack and Triple H. Street fight. So, Triple H comes out with his music and everything, and Stephanie Man goes to the locker room. And maybe it's a good thing, because this match, well, let's not just say it's a street fight. Let's just say it's a fight between two men that are trying to display what skills they have in hardcore wrestling. And Mick Foley, he has done this in Japan. Some of the most hardcore matches you have ever seen. Bob Wire. It's explosive things that you throw your opponent on and they explode. So here comes Cactus Jack. And there start out like a normal match. And then here comes the Bob Wire bat. Here comes the thumbnails. The thumbtacks. Absolutely just destroying each other. Absolutely just annihilating each other in this match. And I'm thinking, this match that I've seen many times, I would never imagine this would be one of the greatest wrestling matches in the history of wrestling. Just, at, there's so many more great wrestling matches, and I feel I think it would be proper to really figure out which one is really the best. And the last part of the match, where Mick Foley, Cactus Jack, just has all the freaking tacks all over his body. Just on his head, on his arms, Triple H has been just... A clean sheet of blood. A clean, just blood all over his face. It's, um, this is not a matchup for the faint of heart. This is not a matchup for people that are thinking, oh, <laughs> they're just going to have a nice little matchup with each other. Mm -mm -mm. And the way that Triple H finishes is off. <laughs> Finish off. Hold on. <laughs> Finishes off kind of this Jack pedigreeing him his finishing mover a mover 
into a thing of thumbnails. One, two, three. The match is over. But Texas Jack is on the floor. Is laying down. Triple H is not celebrating. Stephanie McMahon, his wife, is very, very concerned. And they get a stretcher because they want to make sure that he's okay and that he's not seriously injured. And people say, wrestling's not real. Wrestling's never been real. It's all scripted. Well, that is true. But doing matches like this, really, there's no faking that. Faking a chair, faking putting Bob Wire in thumbnails, just being the living, living crap out of each other is something you can't fake. So, I have to agree, this is one of the best matches I've ever seen. Because you have Triple H being stretched off, stretchered off to maybe the hospital to make sure that he's okay from the brutal match. And here comes Mick Foley. He just got pedigreed and some thumbtacks. And he wants to beat the crap out of Triple H some more. I don't think that Mick Foley was finished. He said, you might have won, but I'm coming back. You put this personality out here. You brought him alive. You're going to suffer the consequences. I think the match changed Triple H. I think the match changed Big Foley, Cactus Jack. For the worse, or just maybe they'll never ever be the same what kind of wrestlers they were after that match. And as always, Awesome, radical, calabunga, dude.